So for today's video, I'll be using this video clip for this tutorial of the mercury bubble effect. So once you're done, on the first step, which is put the video on the working space, duplicate the video, then place it above, so it will now on the second layer. Then go to AI Tools, select Smart Cut Out, then brush the part that you want to keep. So in this case, I'll be brushing the car only, the part of the car, since this is the part that I want to keep. Once you're done, click to start Smart Cut Out, then wait for it to process, then click Save. And then, you will see the output of the smart cutout, the background was removed. And then duplicate the second layer, then place it above. So there will be three layers in total. Then lock the third layer, then hit hide it first. Then go to FX, go to Boris FX, then look for the category of warp, then use the BCC curl, then place it on the second layer, then go to FX on the right side, then change the settings, like the preset make it default BSP, then complexity 300, distortion amplitude 200, for the curl size, let's make it 150. Direction, don't change it. For the direction spread, make it 255, I guess. You can copy my settings, by the way, but it's up to you if you want to make your own setting for that. For the spread, Let's make it speed 20, then advanced sampling. And after that, go to effects again, search for glow color, and apply it on the second layer. Then adjust. For the feathering, make it 35. Intensity 0 0.50 Then go to Blue Blur in Intensity if you want to change it And for the last effect, search for Blue Expansion This effect, then apply it again on the second layer Then make the opacity to 100 so this is for the mercury bubble effect. So if you want to add more effects, you can add. Now go to mask and you the draw mask. We'll be using this draw mask to remove the below part of this effect. So basically, you want to make it look clean. And to do that, use this draw mask. So copy what I did and as you can see, the below part was already clean. Then adjust the duration of the first and last part of the video of the second layer like this. And then Unhide the third layer. And for the last, go to Animation, Preset Motion Legacy. Then look for the effect or animation, Grow Shrink. Then apply it on the second layer. So if you want to See the preview, click this icon, then wait for it to render. 
And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.